Every morning, the first thing I open isn't email, it's Obsidian. And waiting for me, there is my daily dashboard. It tells me what to do, what is urgent, what is the focus today, and what is the focus of this week. And it also tells me what I shouldn't waste time on. And in the afternoon, it reminds me what videos are on my checklist so that workout session lasts longer. And at night, it hands me my reading list so I never wonder what book to pick up. On weekends, it filters out the noise and shows only what actually matters. And here is the crazy part. This daily note isn't something I manually write. It automatically curated from 6400 notes I have taken. Task appears every day when they are relevant. And as soon as I check them up, they disappear. For me, it's the common center for everything. Managing projects across my full-time job, keeping track of dozens of teams and conversation, journaling my days and capturing ideas before they sleep away. That's why I call the daily note the dashboard of Obsidian. And today, I will show you how I built it and how you can make your own. I will use my free Obsidian starter kit to demonstrate you how to build your daily note from scratch so that you can customize your daily note according to your requirement. And if you do not know what is Obsidian Starter Kit, this is a free Obsidian pre-configured vault. And I have created this Obsidian Starter Kit for the complete beginners who do not know how to configure Obsidian and configure plugin or theme or configure template to streamline your note-taking process. So I highly recommend you to download the Obsidian Starter Kit and Follow me in this tutorial. So you will get a folder, something like this. After downloading and unzipping, then inside the folder, there is a free Obsidian starter kit. So, and inside that, you have pre-configured Obsidian complete vault with a lot of templates and a lot of settings and with a readme. So let me open this Obsidian starter kit as a vault from the second option. Let me open this one. Okay, so now I trust author and enable plugin. Okay, let's um activate this option. Okay, you will see something like this. Finding a study of Obsidian starter kit. So in this video, I'll show you how to configure Obsidian daily note, which you will see every time you start Obsidian. The very first thing you have to do is enable the daily note plugin and then configure. Okay, let's start with that. Then go to core plugin. Then there is option daily notes. Enable this option. Then afterwards, you will see a configuration option for daily notes. And over here, and then you have to configure the daily note file location. So every time you start Obsidian, Obsidian will create or open daily note and show you during the startup. So because of that, Obsidian needs to know. Where is your daily note folder? Okay, let me show you. In the Obsidian starter kit, I have a home directory, and over there, I have a journal directory, and over there, I have created daily notes folder. So, this folder I will use as a daily note folder. Let me actually select this folder from the daily note. So, go with the just write down daily, then it will automatically bring up the daily notes folder. That's cool. And the next thing you have to select is the template location. Okay. So template is every time Obsidian opens a new daily node, it will follow a pre-configured structure for the daily node. And that comes from the template folder. So I have pre-configured templates over here. Right now I have few templates. So in this video, we will build the daily node templates. Okay, so that means I have to select the template folder location over here. So let's start with this template. So the thing is, in this location, I have to provide a daily note template, but we do not have any daily note templates at this point. Okay, so next thing I will do is create a template, go to the template location, right click on it, new note, and name it daily note template instead of daily note. Let's go again. Daily note template. Okay, so this is the first, uh, this is the one which we will select as a daily note template. So most of the configurations are done at this point. And the next important thing is this option. So this option is asking open daily note startup every time I start 
obsidian it opens my daily note which is kind of my guide for the whole day because it has all of the tasks all of the meetings all of the information i need today to get started with my task or get started with my job or get started with my youtube video everything okay so that means this i consider this option is a very important option so let's enable this now we are done with daily note configuration okay and now we will configure daily note step by step and build your daily operating system gradually okay so first enable the source mode the reason is so that you can actually see everything i am editing because currently obsidian render a lot of things when you are actually writing when you are actually building your template or configuring your template so source mode is useful and then first we will put the yml front matter so yml front matter is useful metadata for obsidian daily node and also in future you can use this yml front matter to extract information from your nodes in a structured way okay so to start with that start with three dash and then it will close the three dash right then you can actually put together any information you want to keep track of from your daily node in a structured way okay for example I used to keep track of sleep hour. How long did I sleep? Then how is my health today? And how is light today? And what is my motivation level? All these things. Okay. So now we configure the basic stuff. The next thing I will configure is daily journal. And then I just put a bullet point to start with my daily journal. So this is the simplest daily note template you can configure. Not fancy and not, nothing complex, just simple one okay that's cool now close this daily note and now and see the daily note in action okay now let's open the daily note by clicking on this button so this will open up daily note and it replaces the template header using today's date and it also has all of the pre-configured properties which i would like to keep track of and it also has the daily journal something like this okay and next open the daily note template in a side so you see the daily note uses the today's date as a header and rest of the things it actually keeps as it is so this is so powerful to use a template to pre-configure a lot of stuff inside daily note nothing fancy over here but it did a lot of useful information and you can also look into this daily note in a source mode same as before okay let me go back to reading more. let me write something i used to do i am creating daily note obsidian video today okay and the next thing we will do is how to keep track of all of your tasks from multiple meetings and multiple projects inside daily note so every day i have to work on multiple projects so therefore ideally i want to curate all of my tasks from different projects different nodes into my daily note which is my main focus today okay so then i will edit the daily note to keep track of today's task okay i want obsidian to collect all of the tasks from different nodes under this heading to set up the example i want to show you a project so let's go to a project and hobby or no let's go to work and career over here i have job project and inside that i have created a new node which is called mock Dust plotter. So dust plotter is actually MATLAB and Python library, open source library. I have created during my PhD this one. And the function of this project is to generating publication quality figures directly from your simulink or MATLAB models, even from CSV file. Essentially, if you have a CSV file, you can create publication quality figures in a different orientation using this plotting library i want to demonstrate you a few things using this plotting library i have created a mock dust press so mock is a map of content or index file for this project okay then let me actually populate this page using mock template so let's look for mock template so this is the one i have pre-configured before so i want to assign few tasks inside this project because let's go we create this task mock task press so essentially the templates populate a lot of things and it also populates 
two node placeholder. The first one is idea and the second one is task. So let's control click on this one and it will open and create a new node named mock task of mock uh, sorry task plotter. And under here, I want to create few tasks for today or tomorrow. So the first task I want to create is, for example, I need to improve my Python version of this library, such as integrating a new feature into Python version. But the thing is like, for example, I am actually taking this note when I am discussing with my teammate. I want to keep track of this task over here under daily note, right? So uh, to do that, we have to use a plugin which is called task plugin. Let me show you how to install the task plugin. Go to community plugin and go to browse, then search for tasks. And this is the plugin I'm talking about and install, then enable. Okay, we are go to the installation, go to task plugin and everything I used to keep as default. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is create a new task following the task plugin format. So the standard way to create a task using the task plugin format is something like use a checklist something like this so we can create checklist manually dash then square bracket then space inside a square bracket this create a checklist so this is the one way then i will copy this integrate new feature into python version and paste over here then afterwards i will actually set the due date so and the important thing is that the task plugin brings up a pop-up window over here so that you can set a lot of options over using the task plugin this is really really good feature of task plugin so let's set the due date today and select that today. Okay, so the next thing I essentially want to do is curate that information into my today's daily note. So I want my daily note to collect information. What is my task today from my different notes? So what I want you to keep track of everything inside daily note. We have to create a new task comma. The way you can do this, press three, back tick three times and press task and then we have to write two commands not done you to then just get out magic okay so you see that it curated the task integrating new feature into python version from this node you see that so this is cool about using daily node to actually curate all of your tasks from different nodes okay and let me show you another thing in one of my previous videos i have worked on my task press project which is a hobby pet projects and my boss assigned few tasks over here so let me change one of the tasks for today change the due date over here so set today then go back to the template daily note template plugin again and see the magic over here so essentially you daily note curated two tasks from two files the first task is curated from dust plotter project and second task it curated from WordPress support projects. So this is so cool, right? Okay. And another thing is like normally I use task tag to actually separate task from uh, typical bullet points. So this is also important thing you have to remember. Okay, sorry, not task, just task. Task tag separates all of you tasks from your checklist because inside Obsidian we use a lot of checklists for different projects, different things. But we want to keep track of just the only the task. Then you will see something like this. This is really cool, right? To get you used to, let me show you a few more examples. So let me create another task. This time I will use shortcut to create the task. So let's start with Control O. So Control O creates the checklist. Then press hashtag task. Then after integrating new feature into Python, at the end of the week, I want to publish this Python library, okay? And my due date is at the end of the week, for example, Friday. Okay, this is so cool, right? Then I added the new task for at the end of the week. And then let me go back to the daily note and you will see that task under the today's task. So that means I also want to keep track of weekly task. And that means I have to write down the task plugin syntax to keep track of the weekly task. And the way you can do this is three backtick and then 
press task plugin command task then not done that means the task not done and do in this tweet then bring your mouse outside of the command then you will see this listed from your all of your nodes and organized according to your requirements or according to your test so you can do anything you want and if you go to the task plugin official website you will see they have a lot of options or a lot of programming interface you can utilize okay now let me show you another thing for example today i have completed this task so what i can do i can just check it and it will disappear from my today's task as well as you will see this task is completed over here so this is automated and this is so cool and i believe this will be so useful feature for your everyday use okay let's list down all of the overdue tasks for example i have one of the tasks which is overdue so i want to keep track of all of the overdue tasks into my daily note okay so then let's put a heading over here then create the syntax for overdue task not done due before today done it actually figured out all of the tasks which are overdue so you can see this is actually work on image compression for dust press this is actually this month 14th assign swathi for seo this is actually this month 15th and complete seo for website this is actually supposed to happen on this month 14th so this way we can actually keep track of all type of task since this is a programming interface you you will be able to compile or curate your task in different ways different combination and you 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 actually perform the different type of filterings on your task to keep track you track of your task but the good thing about that if you have any problem do not forget to put your questions in the comment section below i will try to so i will I'll try my level best to solve your problem and on top of that if you feel comfortable with programming you can actually look into the task plugin website uh, it has actually very good uh, documentation on how you can utilize task plugin and filter your task organize your task even you can beautify your task according to your test so the way i have presented over here it looks messy but useful but my recommendation would be uh do more research on it and customize it according to your taste and beautify it according to your requirements so over here sky is the limit and on top of that if you go to the query section you will be able to get different ways to filter in your tasks so look into those documentation it will be useful to organize your task or sort out your task according to your requirement so i think you enjoyed this video and if you feel that you get value from this video please do not forget to subscribe my channel as well like the video so that i that keeps me motivated to make more videos and finally i'll put down all of the resource in the description below all of the links urls and all of the video i have mentioned during this video you will get all of the links in the description below thank you very much and next i will bring up the second part of this video thank you